Hi Virgo! Welcome to your April general reading. We're going to look at your April lesson, um, money and career, especially if you're a Virgo rising, which by the way, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, we're going to look at your love life, whether you're single or coupled. We're going to look at how other people affect your April and your emotional self as well as your crystal of the month. So I'm actually, you know what, before we get started, I just want to tell you, your crystal of the month, I'm going to spoil it, it's peridot. And why is that important? Because some Virgos are born in August, so it's a double extra super bonus when it's your birthstone. Hello. Um, anyway, correlates to the heart chakra. I'll tell you more about it at the end, but let's get started with your reading. Okay, Virgo, your lesson for April overall or what you're kind of working through and learning, you're trying to develop a little bit more empathy. Um, Virgos can be so serious sometimes. They are sometimes very, you know, deeply emotional. However, this month we're kind of trying to figure out how to step into other people's shoes. We're not necessarily doing the best job in it through the beginning of April. So it's like a skill that we're kind of like revisiting and, and looking at a little bit harder as the month progresses. What's going on with work or career, your money? They're saying, um, thinking about things from the past, like how things used to be financially or how work, how your workplace used to be, <laughs> but thinking about it in positive terms and then not talking about it with anyone else. Like, hey, remember when we used to do things this way and that worked better? Um, that might be like a conversation you wanna have, but you're not having. And the reason why is because you feel like you can't change things anyway, that things just are the way that they are. You know, we've all had that boss or worked for that corporation where everything was fine, everybody was happy, and they come in and change everything and fuck it all up. And you just like, what's the point in even saying anything? Cause you know what, it is what it is. And that's kind of where you're at. So what they're saying is, um, try to like feel confident and find some enthusiasm and passion and excitement anyway for what you're doing or for, um, you know, the energy of abundance because everything's secure. And so the worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to attract more security or more money into your life. You might as well. Um, sorry, it's a little bit boring, isn't it? If you are a Virgo who is coupled, it says, um, all this like deep internal thinking and processing isn't really important. Um, what's important right now is lust, passion, excitement, enthusiasm, go and buy yourself something sexy and new and surprise your partner kind of energy. If your partner is a cancer, totally makes sense because they are all freaky deaky this month. They're saying um, that needs to be your focus, the passion, the excitement, the adventure, the enthusiasm, that spark, um, creativity. <laughs> okay. Uh, for those of you who are single, what's up? They're like, everything's working out exactly the way it's supposed to, like on a universal level, like per destiny, per karma, per God, the universe, whatever. But some of you are kind of like resisting love. You're pushing it away. You're blocking it because you don't want to have to work hard at relationships. Thing is though, just because that was your past experience, like, oh, I've always had to put a lot of work in and then I ended up getting hurt. So like, now I don't know. Um, doesn't mean that's going to be your future, especially when you have all of this karma playing out in your favor. So knock it off. Stop it. Be open to receive love. They're like, it's not going to be hard work. It really isn't. Okay. So there's that. Um, how are other people affecting your April Virgos? Whoa. Okay. So other people are kind of filling you with optimism, joy, happiness, excitement, that kind of thing. And then um, there's some other people who are kind of stealing your sunshine, right? Like once you get in this mood, you're like feeling good. You're on top of the world. If you're a coupled Virgo, you just had some like really great sex and you're still like riding that high. And then other people come around and they challenge that and they fuck it up for you. So how are we going to uh, prevent that from happening? And they're like, just don't let their, what they say or what they do emotionally affect you. Well, easier said than done, right? But they're saying, just stop it. <laughs> just, like the, just like the Virgo singles, just knock it off. Just stop it. Um, okay, 
So there's that. Uh, what's going on with your emotional self, right? Like, how are you feeling in April? And they're like nostalgic, thinking about things in the past and you know how they worked well for you before, and you know how can I bring that childlike enthusiasm and like wonder and adventure into the now? And they're like, this is best to do with other people though. So like with siblings, with old friends, um, with your partner or whatever, like kind of recreating memories like you know how some people take those like baby photos with their siblings and then they do them again as adults that would be a really fun activity for a Virgo in April for example or um, maybe you always went to uh, the ball of twine every summer you know as a family trip maybe you want to go there with somebody new <laughs> and just like have those memories what is it like now how much how, how do I feel different or um, even more enthused to be here <laughs> silly shit okay so talking about your crystal of the month now um, this is gonna clear out anything icky from your heart chakra okay so especially for Virgo singles this is gonna be important because it's gonna help you to open that up to be able to bring in this relationship that's potentially there for you that is easy it's all about ease um, because it's green, it also works with prosperity, helps you to bring in more abundance or money. Um, it helps in relationships. It helps like with honesty. It helps with integrity. It helps with cooperation, compassion, wisdom. People want to be more generous with you if you have one of these on you. So if you're a waitress, for example, you might want to just like tuck one in your little apron there. Um, it's protective actually, which is interesting because it's not a dark color, which usually those are. Helps you to express more gratitude, more joy, gets rid of any anger, resentment, jealousy, which is maybe why you're able to look at the past fondly with some sort of nostalgia, right? You forget about the old things that weren't so good and kind of just focus on the positive. Um, this actually will help like stimulate your solar plexus chakra, which is interesting because it's green, right? And it's associated with the heart chakra. But it'll help you to like feel more personally empowered and enthusiastic and full of joy and crap like that. Um, helps you to forgive yourself as well as others. Uh, it makes your aura stronger, like it reinforces it. It makes your metabolism quicker, which is rad because summer's coming. We want to look hot in our little bikinis and stuff. Uh, what else does it do? Gets rid of stomach pain. That's cool. Does a lot of other shit, which you could look up on my website where they're posted. If you get one from me instead of from your local shop, um, which support local businesses, right? Am I right? Uh, anyway, but then it'll come with like a video playlist of all these different ways that you could use crystals. So that's your crystal of the month and your reading for the month of April. Have the best April ever. Love and light. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!